I'm Anando Sen. I'm a professor of economics at the University of Waterloo. I am also the Associate Director of the Waterloo Cybersecurity and Privacy Institute. My research interests are in the optimal sharing of data. We live in a society where all of us share information and data. What is the optimal amount of data sharing? How do we protect our privacy if we share our data? These are fundamental questions which are affecting governments and societies today. And my research is based on the use of economic methods of welfare to understand how we can devise practical and efficient rules of data sharing that lead to innovation, but also ensure the privacy of individuals. My initial interest looked at the, the market power of large firms and understanding what the implications, societal implications are of these firms being able to collect vast amounts of information. And once we saw what happened with the Facebook controversy, the way such simple apps could be used to manipulate elections and opinions, I was basically hooked on to that research. Part of my research focuses on data markets, the idea of establishing formal markets for data where individuals can exchange their information in return for perhaps monetary payments from firms or data collection agencies. If you have a data market and individuals realize that there's value in their information, they most likely will be very careful about preserving the data and protecting the privacy of their data. In my opinion, if we manage to formally develop data markets with appropriate input from all stakeholders in society and have a mechanism where individuals can get some return, you'd see some of the uh, profits earned by large companies being transferred to consumers. You would also probably see a new economy in innovation and technology in trying to harness the benefits of such markets. There's been a lack of appropriate education in terms of individuals understanding how their data can be shared. Again, there are two sides of the equation. Individuals have to be assured of their individual privacy, but I think that the flip side of it is understanding also the wonderful benefits that can happen with more data sharing, especially when it's with the government and an agency which is there to protect individuals and to actually produce uh, societal benefits. I think this is a significant problem facing society. The best example is large language models and chat GPT. I think that many stakeholders, not just government, but many stakeholders in society were taken aback by what these models could do. So I think that government will always be playing catch up, but that's not different from many other segments of society, including the private sector. I think the federal government is doing a really good job of eliciting stakeholder opinions on data sharing and regulation. Currently, the Artificial Intelligence Data Act is still being uh, developed and there are opportunities for individuals to express their opinions. I think that this type of process is necessary and I'm glad I see that from the government of Canada and I think uh, these sort of outreach methods have to continue. Individual privacy is at risk because of technological innovations, methods that allow third parties to more easily scoop up your data and information and potentially use it for uh, malicious intent. But I think that if we move forward as a society and we have a commonly agreed list of protocols, think of it this way. Should AI engineers or AI developers be expected to take professionalization courses in which they take ethics courses that make them understand from the perspective of behavior, what are the possible consequences of their technology? How may individuals use them? I think that type of education is really critical going forward. And I think we need to have a discussion whether or not it's mandatory that you have to take this course.